I have uh, 605. I'll call this meeting uh, to order. Uh, Anna, would you call the roll, please? Sir. Mm -hmm. Mr. Michael Piles. Here. Jim Mitchell. Here. Charles McCoy. Tom Taylor. Here. Bob Yoler. Here. Chelsea Bramble. Here. Jonathan Turner. Here. And Tina Drake. Here. Okay. okay. Uh, take a look at the minutes. And uh, read over those, and then I'll entertain a motion to uh, accept those. And did you say in that second paragraph it should be six months? That's, yes, according to Chelsea, that's correct. Okay. 180 days? 180 yeah. days. Just that 90 days should be 180 days. You got a copy uh, of the minutes? Let me see. Here, here's some. Uh, last, last paragraph, that should be 180 days. sufficient amount of time then uh, is that six months in it. Mm -hmm. So by the time they yeah take they pull it out back weather's coming December, November, gets them into March, April. It's a reasonable number, I don't see anything wrong with it. <clears throat> yeah, I'm just thinking about my fields down there. I've got drift laying in them right now. Going back to fall or spring? No, it happened uh, in January when I had so usually, unless it's weird, it doesn't come up until December-ish or so. So, you know, that could be tight. I don't know for sure. <clears throat> on that. Motion to approve the minutes with the change of 90 from 90 to 180 days. So moved. Anyway, Bob made a motion to approve. Do I hear a second? I'll second. I'll second. Okay, Tina second. Um, all in favor? Any any further discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. All opposed, like sign. Okay, the minutes stand approved. Uh, anything new we need to discuss on the overlay? No, I have not. Okay, well, up. we're not in a, a big hurry on that one anyway. Okay. Uh, regulations for the signs. Uh, we've not met on that yet, have we? No. We probably need to set a meeting date for that so that we can maybe at least have, have that revision done by, by May. Okay. Yeah, Tina, you were going to... You're going to serve on that. Mm -hmm. Tina, Bob, and, and Diana? Mm -hmm. Okay. So maybe before the meeting is over, at the end of the meeting, set a time. Sure. Set a time so that we can just go over that and, and hopefully have it done by, by May. And so you want it done by the meeting in May, Mike? I, I, I would say, yeah. Because mm -hmm. we want to kind of have everything wrapped up. By May or at least at least by June. Gotcha. Uh, if you had a chance to Tina to look at the the permits, per I've actually asked for Henry County to send us samples of theirs because mm -hmm. I could make heads or tails of what we have. Okay. <clears throat> but I have already talked to them and they're going to send us those and I'll just 
work okay. from there. Because there's, there's, you have those. Okay, because they were they were willing. It was this little yeah, coordinator, okay. so they've had a change in command too over there. Are they going to be able to send you a word file so that you won't have to start from scratch? I don't know. I didn't ask that. I mean, but they said yes, they could send me yeah, samples. Yeah. I just said, you know, it looks like your zoning and our zoning is very similar. Mm -hmm. So could you send me what you have on those permits? Yeah, because uh, we really need permits across the board yeah. for several things. Yeah, if they could send you a word file so okay. you don't have to do all that work over again, that that would be helpful. And I've got another one uh, from our discussions on Articles 1 through 4 that I need to give you. Okay. And I do have a word cop uh, a word file for that one. So okay. all you need to do is just make a few changes. Okay. I don't think I have an actual. Okay. Well, I mean, they were in agreement, so. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would check back with them. And no, it was an email. Okay. That wasn't an email. Yeah, just check back with them and see if you can get a word file. Mm -hmm. I don't know his name either. Okay, for sure. He's and great. maybe just if you can have a rough draft by end of April, and then maybe we can do a final approval on them in May. Right. Okay. Any other, anything else under old business? Okay, moving on to new business. Uh, there is a uh, planning and zoning workshop um, scheduled at Keiko in June, on June the 13th. Did you get a copy of that, uh, Chelsea? Mm -hmm. um, Topics are going to be covered, comprehensive plans, board of adjustment authority, zoning law changes, permits, subdivision regulations, cell tower rules, and land use in litigation. Uh, that's what they have here. The registration is going to be $75 per person. Um, and we have to have so many hours of training each year, so this, this would be a good one to go to. I don't know how we're going to be on funds, on planning and zoning funds at that time, but we, we may just have to pay our, the registration ourselves uh, to go to that. Uh, so you may just want to go ahead and call that number and, uh, and register for it. I, I plan on going. Uh, anybody else? I'll try this one. There's one in Jeffersonville uh, also. I think it's in May. Maybe okay. in April, I'm not sure. I saw it, and it was uh, from ground zero up, and I thought maybe for new people that would be a good mm -hmm. one. It's one day, it's on a Wednesday, and I think it was about the same charge. Jeff, No, uh, J-Town, Kentucky. Yeah. And okay, it's, it's closer it's, than a lot of these. Yeah, well, it was a, it was a good, uh, for what they showed, it was good, and it was a highly well attended in the past, so I thought it might be a... Well, this one's going to kind of hit you bad uh, at a bad time in, in June, so... Mm -hmm. uh, unless with, I, with unless farming. I drive now, Owensboro or Cave City. Mm -hmm. Yeah, June was the closest. Was that through KEPTA? Did you see no. uh, They were putting it on themselves, I think. Oh, and, their uh, planning commission. There, it was either the, I didn't I didn't look at the details. Okay. It was their planning and zoning, mm -hmm. but it was offered through the whole city of Louisville, I think, because okay. they said it's pretty well attended. I'll get the sheet. Okay. Okay. If you can distribute that. Yeah. So we required to have a, a, look, a minimum of hours training. Yes. Yes. Within the first, talking off the top of my head, maybe six months. It's in the rules of training. I'll pull it out. Okay. You'll have to have eight hours and then every year after that. Okay. And this training would cover, would meet that requirement. You'll get eight hours here.
Yeah, Todd, do you think there will be sufficient funds to cover registration? Because I know, I, doubt you, it. I, I was going to say, if all of us went, you're you're looking at a pretty good chunk of money. Yeah, I so, doubt it. So we'll just we'll just pay uh, our those of us that can go. We'll just pay the seventy five dollars. So I would say just give them a call and and just register in, in individually there. How many around the table here think we'll be able to go June the 13th? Oh, either of that one or the one or two. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> okay, so about four or five of us. What about you? Okay, so mo most of us will be able to go then. Okay. Uh, Bob, you want to talk about Bedford City Council doing the first reading of the uh, planning and They did the ordinance. first reading. Um, they were, uh, they were for it. The vote was four to one. Uh, the, there were a couple questions. This is overwhelming to them, be frank about it, no doubt about it. Uh, they wanted to know if they could cut it down. Uh, I said I would ask, but I said I think they want to pass the, the, the ordinance in its entirety so that it covers the whole county, and I got the same impression talking to uh, Milton. Okay. They were, uh, they're for it, and the drift I'm getting is that they're for it. Okay. Uh, they've had enough trouble in town, and they they want things to improve. They mm -hmm. want to be able to control some things, and uh, they want the one of the things that came up years ago when they put in the uh, um, bass stop it had to do with signing and how much light uh, light uh, was reflecting. That's been a question out there for the also for the dollar store, the new dollar store. So it's been some comment about that. So. They're they're inclined to go with that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alrighty. And uh, did I get that right? April 9th is the next next meeting. Yeah, so. they're having they're oh. having a special meeting on the 9th. I'd like to have as many of the planning okay. zoning I'll, people that could be there and talk to them. I'll plan on possible. being there. Now, has Milton said anything? To you no, I was uh, going to try and get in touch with uh, Seth <coughs> Willis mm -hmm. and uh, talk to him. He's been for it and uh, encourages it, but I haven't been able to okay. get him yet. Okay. He works long hours, I think. Alrighty. Um, anything else? When did you say the meeting was? It's, uh, April 9th, 6 p.m. It's at the Morgan Center up there. Why well, don't you all just, for for Diane's benefit, just go ahead if you want. Just take a minute or two and uh, set up a date for that, uh, the sign. Okay. The meet, meeting on, on the side. Check, check your schedules. Uh, at lunch or no? It's a no. Okay. Um, it'd have to be after 6 30 at night. Okay. It's just going to have to be a couple of weeks out because I seem to have a meeting every night for the next couple of weeks so, on something. So um, give us the first time you don't have a meeting. Well, I mean, that would be, well, let's just see when it would be if you get in. So. Um, the week of April 15th, is there a day that's best for you guys? Is the 15th Monday? It is. Mm -hmm. okay. I can't do it on Monday. I don't I know. I can't either. Okay. Uh -huh. We could actually go um, back up to April 8th, uh, not on a Monday, but April 8th is a Monday. We could go to April 9th. Could that be? That's that, two weeks. That's when the uh, that's city when meeting the city is. Council. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Um, Any time that week, I think I'm okay. I'm after Wednesday. Okay. <laughs> Wednesday the day. Would that work? Mm -hmm. Sure. Wednesday, six thirty. Where do you want to meet? Uh, we can meet over in my office if you want to over there. That'd be okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you said six thirty. Six thirty. Okay. 
you want to send me what you come up with? On the, let me back up just a second. On the planning and zoning train, since you're going to be registering individually, we probably better we probably better get on that by, by tomorrow. Cause uh, the last time we had a meeting up there, it was pretty a pretty large crowd. Okay. Any other thing to discuss uh, under new business? I'm sorry. Uh, the register now is a link. Can we just email her? Uh, you could email her, or I think I think you can. Or you can. Was there? Can you, should you forward us? <coughs> yeah. Uh, you did? No, I did. I did not. I because I thought you. I thought you had gotten I thought a copy I did too. It must be a different list, sir. There's a I phone number it. on the bottom if you want. Yeah. Okay. There's there's a contact number there to call. Okay. Cover the one before, mm -hmm. so when we get the public comment. Yes. Okay. Yep. We're about ready to do our. You all ready to move in to the questions? Okay. I think we're ready to move into the questions that you all might have on articles one through four. And uh, if you would please uh, state your name and then. Uh, what section, what article you're looking at, and it would be helpful if you have the page number that we could, we could turn to. So, J.D., you said you had several. You want to go? Yeah, we can start with page one. Y'all talked about the forms. On the bottom of the forms, it probably should say something about our uh, enforcement officer may enter the property. Uh, land and make uh, examinations we want to make sure that's at the bottom and, and that is good for one year because you'll say mm -hmm. it's for one year uh, yeah. make sure that uh, that's on the bottom to protect her so that she doesn't get trespassing or anything mm -hmm. like that and when they sign that approving that permit that also gives her authorization to enter the property during the building uh, process mm -hmm. so make sure that's on the bottom of the form that's the the bottom one there's I got that at page one at the very bottom I'm at 200 okay. also on page one 110 uh, it says the most restrictive or imposing the higher standards shall govern and this is usually talking about your subdivision ordinances or your other ordinances but at page five paragraph three at the bottom It says nothing in this section shall intend to change or conflict with any subdivision regulations. We need to make sure which one is the lead regula uh, regulation. Is it the planning and zoning or is it the subdivision? Because I'm very confused on which one is the lead. And if you all can tell me that, hey, I need to look at the subdivision ordinance over top of the, you know, planning and zoning, then that's what I'll look at. But as a builder, I need to know which one takes priority. So if you could clarify that for me as a builder, I'd appreciate that. Okay. Well, it's my, it's my understanding if you have more than three lots, it's a subdivision, and the subdivision regulations would be uh, would, would prevail. Prevailing. Is that not correct? So, so would there's be nothing the in the subdivision ordinance that tells you, you know, distance or anything like that? I don't think I, I don't have a copy of the subdivision regulations, but they're uh, with me. But there is a chart. Um, the county should have that. Yeah, I, I have it right here in front of me. And there are sections in here that talks about how to build stuff. So I would, I think that it should have been consistent with the intention. Yeah, and, and that you need to, as you go through the uh, planning and zoning ordinance, you need to go through the. Uh, subdivision ordinance and make sure that there's nothing conflicting and if there is conflicting it needs to be noted in both mm -hmm. uh, and it does say on page one there that uh, you all can make 
on 104 may amend by said planning and zoning commission talking about the subdivision order so one on 140 on 140, on 140. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so if you've got to make changes to the subdivision orders to match the planning and zoning i don't care which one which mm -hmm. i just need to know as a builder yeah. i'd hate to build something and then oh no that's not right there was five there's three different buildings here so now it's a subdivision i'd hate to be halfway built and get a stop order at that point yeah so if you could clarify that we don't have we don't have any control about the subdivision right that was put in by the this court that's this court's property then what's 140 then that's really confusing i know it any is. reference here by subdivision regulation shall the subdivision regulations and 10 by the Trimble County Planning Commission and said they may amend by said Planning and Zoning Commission. That, so needs, to th be that needs to be taken out? That needs to be changed to physical court. I found that out. Oh, okay. 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 On the bottom there it says by said physical court. Is that what you're taking mm -hmm. out? Oh, since you all oh, put it in, of the since Trimble County physical County court put the subdivision regulations in place. I mean, I suppose there's nothing stopping us <clears throat> from making a recommendation, but nothing in our authority would allow us to change to be able to amend that i don't have those with me it's there. absence Page from one, subdivision one, one, regulation mm -hmm. you you got this yeah oh, exactly. i have this oh, yes it. if I it's a not that. a subdivision yet is that what 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 would it be if i probably have it because i have everything right it. the subdivision regulation I haven't gone through them since we started this. Okay. I haven't. We haven't thought of it. Okay, I, we I've, I've got this, it written down, so. Matt will provide context where so things you see my would, question. Mm -hmm. okay. were related to the subdivision regulations. Yeah. And it was our intention sometimes to more or less defer to those. I thought we did that. We did that right. several times with the number of cuts we we made it in our uh-huh i don't know that we completely reconciled it but in some places we backed off of our language to to defer to the subdivision regulation mm -hmm. well if you can get me a copy of that what i can do is to make the change and just highlight it in red where we've made the changes for the time being and have an edited yeah. document. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's some subdivisions that have their own restrictions. And that's deed restrictions and they take precedence over right. others. That is, okay. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, I live in one of them. And they're legal. Yes. <clears throat> Ready for my next one? Yeah, go right ahead. Page three, section 250 and D. What do you all consider an alteration? I know what I consider. Alteration of $500 more. What would be considered that? A building with a replacement value of $500 is where you need to start. Alteration with existing building so i can alter it you know can change anything on my house i want that's not considered alterate as long as i don't add square footage no the building if your house has a replacement built value of five hundred dollars or less which i doubt it does no he has a nice house right then you can make it whatever alterations but i'm guessing your yes. house okay I get what you're saying. So any alterations to something with 500 or less, the building is worth 500 or less, not the alteration. Yeah. Correct. Right, yeah. mm -hmm. Okay. Because <clears throat> to replace that, it would have to be 500 or less. Yeah. That's the way it reads in it. Yeah. Building having a replacement value, which is an outhouse. Yeah. yeah. Uh, huh. At the top of the page, did you all look at that? If zoning permit has been issued by a, or has not been issued by a builder or uh, and continues to build 
a stop order may be yeah, issued? Shall. Yeah, I, I've got that listed as one of the changes that we're going to make. Yeah. Yes. I think that was all five of them. I have something on 250. Um, just for continuity purposes, exceptions for which zoning permits are not required. D under there, it, a fee is not to be charged for the construction of improvements such as grading uh, pursuant to a, a building development. That a fee not to be charged doesn't exactly fit under the heading exceptions for which zoning permits are not required because they're still going to need the zoning. It just doesn't fit exactly. I don't. I don't have a good solution about where to put it, but I can look at it and just sort of shove it in somewhere else. I think that's something. Use. It's useful to have in there, but um, it doesn't fit. Exactly. Exactly. Um, maybe under fees. I think the word fee doesn't need to be in there. Uh, and ex you could say um, these are exceptions for which the zoning permits are not required and uh, to be considered under this category are construction or improvements. And just leave the word fee out. But if you're going to start grading, Well, you have that in there as not, um, not requiring a permit. Yeah, that's prior to building. Prior I know, but I think the only thing we meant is that you don't have to have a pre-planned fee. You know, you don't have to. I think what we were talking about are fees, and not permits, because you start grading and and digging. Well. You're under permits. <laughs> I know. That's, I know. Okay, so think it, thinking through, well, you're putting in a subdivision. You get your permit issued and start start digging. You're then on a timeline. So you get your permit issued, start digging, or start digging, apply for your permit. You've got a period of time if you need a zone change or your subdivision plot approved. You've got a period of time here. You're going to start your digging. I guess you're digging at your own risk. So you don't have to have the permit in place before you start digging and grading. I think that makes sense. You put 100000 into a subdivision that isn't approved. Not wise. Not wise, but you haven't altered any structures or changed any, you haven't put in any parking lots, you haven't offended, you haven't broken Maybe. any zoning regulations. So you can plow up however you want your property without getting a permit issued. Yeah, and this is prior to a new development, right? So I mean, prior to building. Yeah. development. Yeah, so. Well. So that. Okay, so the question comes, uh, what is the point to at which the permit is actuated? Is I mean, you got to put a structure in there. Well, or a so somebody could lay out, for future use, could lay out a subdivision and not have to pay any permit fees or anything? Is that what you're saying? You could dig up your land, but as soon as you street. start making improvements to the land so you can <coughs> clear off well improvements are are clear grading the intent i think is what you got to look at grading streets ditch digging cutting and filling in the like um like in conjunction with site improvements yeah prior so anything pretty much anything prior to building development there's no fee yeah but is there a permit do we are we going to make them get the permit issued before they start grading? Or is it just, is the purpose of that provision just to say, we're not going to charge you a fee for your pre-building development? I read it as, we're not going to charge you a fee, don't worry, you know, uh, you're not going to be double charged. If you're paying to have your subdivision 
plat approved, we're not gonna charge you a fee for getting it ready and then a fee for getting the subdivision approved. Am I making sense? Kind of, but I mean, you're making sense, but then again, that that's like a double negative. I, I don't necessarily see why it even needs to be in that's there. That's what if I was they, thinking. If they get the permit, go to it. I mean, if, okay. does it need to be in there to well, specify? I don't. I mean, if they got the permit, they can. This is. I mean, we don't have says permits are not required. And they have to have a permit to even start, right? To even have. Well. According to this, they, they wouldn't should. have to. They wouldn't no. have to. They would have to to start building. But I don't think I'd want to start before no, I've got that permit approved. Uh, and then you quit. And, you got, you just and then what do you have? Yeah. yeah, and then what do you have? You have a cleared off? Or a ditch. Mm -hmm. So you want to take that out? I'll say strike oh, it. Strike it. Okay. So 250 is gone. No, 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 just D, just D, okay, yeah. why'd I ask? So it didn't, it didn't alter anything else by removing it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think the rest of them flow logically. So, I'll make you a comment okay. of this. Um, We okay with that? That 15 square feet is covering your outhouse again. Yeah. Even if it's a nice outhouse. Yeah. Two seater. So we need a motion on that, or are you okay with that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we Maybe want, once we, we make all the changes, bring it back for a motion approving all these changes. Okay. Yeah, or or we could do one now to make it official, one or the other, whatever. If you want to wait till we do them all together. Yeah, let's just do them all together. Okay. One okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. What if, what if we don't approve one of them? If we do we'll them, we don't do them individually. We'll do it right then. <laughs> if, you do, if you get five, at the end of the day, five, and then we say, well, gee, I like four of them, I don't like one. We'll entertain discussion. We'll entertain discussion. Oh, I see. We can remove okay. the motion to get four out of the five. Anyone else? JD, do you have any more? Or are you? Are you? Uh, I did have one more. Uh, 290. Down here at the bottom on F. Who do we contact for that? So is the road department. Can we, do, do you have a number or address or anything that you talk? It's my understanding when we put that in there that you can't have a driveway. You're not going to get a driveway approved unless it's approved by the highway department anyway. Correct. Who do you call? It, I don't have it, any idea. On the county road, the Kentucky Transportation wouldn't approve it. They would approve the state road, but not a county road. County road the county road department. Okay, by the so, uh, manager of the county road. That's what we want because we yeah. want proper ditching, proper, you know, culverting. Visibility. While, while we're on that subject, I got a few questions on that. Go ahead. Probably just a men in there, um, driveway approved by uh, transportation cabinet and or county. Yes. County road department. Yeah. Okay. Or do county for whatever. Yeah. The section above it seed actually says something about the road department. Yeah. But I just yeah, seen something uh, different down here. Yeah, A talks about refers to a public street, which is open. It, it, it de defines it in A. I think it should say okay, county road department or county road management, department manager. Or we have a county road supervisor. Supervisor, same supervisor. I would say department. It said road frontage must contain a driveway approved by the county road department or Kentucky Transportation Cabinet there slash Department of Highways as appropriate. That sounds good. Go ahead, Kirby. On your subdivisions now, as long as you put a subdivision in and have a blacktop, that doesn't classify it as being a county road. No. No. 
you know, there's a, there's a definition up there, curb on uh, roads, county roads, etc. Yeah. They, they differentiate. There's a standard. I mean, that gets back to my to my question on uh, on 290A. Mm -hmm. It says a uh, public road, public streets, uh, dedicated and maintained by the get government unit. So it's a private road. They can't divide that property. The plan will have to be approved. It have to be approved. Uh huh. Yeah, I know what you're saying. That's opening up a can of worms there because the. If a new developer comes in and and puts a perfect uh, example was uh, yep. or Leon Taylor's um, Taylor Farm Road. Yeah, Taylor Farm Road right there. That was put in per regs and had been running like that for years. And I think the <laughs> county just did recently. What's it been? Two years ago, maybe took uh, it over. But they were up. They've been up to specs for. Geez, what, eight years, maybe ten? I put that on the county when I was there. That's five years ago. They had to, they had to bring it up. They had yeah. on their own, would have to bring it up to county spec. Mm -hmm. But it, it had been up for, well, when they, I thought when they put that in, it was built up no, to specs. No. It, it wasn't. No. So the county took it over once it was brought up to specs. Brought up to specs. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, is that, is that it? Um, you want to put the phone numbers in there or just leave it as that? County Road Department in Kentucky uh, Department of Highways. Okay. Any uh, one else have uh, questions on, on Articles 1 through 4? Okay. Just State your name, state, yeah, just state your name, please, and then. My name is Frank Logston. Okay. Most of mine got covered here, but I never stopped what I had highlighted and what had some questions on. Uh, and I've got some pretty fair answers this evening, so I can deal with it. But the only one, and I need, I need some kind of confirmation to this from this committee or from, from this report was the way that this ordinance was brought in. I've been told that it can't be challenged, it's against state law, this kind of thing. I'm wondering what our options is as a public. Do we need to get into a six citizens action community and actually get our own lawyer in on this about the constitutionally of how this thing was put through here? Or what is our options here? Or are you all allowed to tell us? We have to find this out on our own. Well, we answer to physical court, and we're volunteers here. It's my understanding that physical court was the legislative body that was to take action on that, to establish it, or if they want, as they did in January, to suspend uh, the enforcement of it. So that's basically where we stand. We're still just getting enforcement. There's no way to challenge on this. Not at this time. After it goes back in effect, then we can challenge you. Is that what I'm getting out of this? Yes. Okay, so my phone calls have done me some good then because I, I have been in contact with community action groups and we'll have to discuss this later. Right. Any Thank other? You. Oh, you're welcome. Any other questions? I got one. Okay. All right. You're not allowed to answer, ask questions. I can't. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so but it was pretty funny to watch <laughs> yeah. the face. Before you do a question. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so on two nine on, on page six, two ninety, under two ninety. Okay, less than five acres. Now this is uh, okay, so A one zone is this like would be one of my considered one of my farms. Fam, you know that I own that I'm gonna in this sell off. Would this be like if I was gonna, you know, sell this off to one of my family members or whoever, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so less than five acres, a hundred feet of frontage. The next one B, that was A B, is between five acres and 25 acres, a minimum of 250. Mm -hmm. And then when you go over 25 acres, it's 250. Uh, 
could we change that uh, 100 feet to 30, 250 to 30, and 250 to 30? 30 feet of rope on it? Mm -hmm. I can give you an example. You're going to have driveways. <clears throat> County road every well, thirty feet. No, so so say for instance I have a farm. Uh, okay, so my dad and I out on Button Ridge, perfect example of a um, division that um, the particular to uh, the only way the way the land laid along the county road in a curve before the back of barn. Um, there was only like probably thirty or fifty feet that you could even get access and, and to get into there. Mm -hmm. So once you, you know, they, these, uh, we built the road and went in through there when we sold it to them and it opened up into 40 acres, right? It was in there. So then the next tract on down the road, you know, it had all the road frontage, but you know, you couldn't, the way the land laid and just the way the farm, and I know, you know, it, nothing's perfect. I mean, there's no, these farms out here in the county aren't going to lay exactly perfect to where that's just going to be a perfect case scenario. So that's what I'm throwing in there. Does that offset something per like subdivision regulation rules? What do we get into there? It's I'm just kind of throwing that out there. Conflicting with anything, but I don't, I don't know that that's desirable. Because that's what you can do. And then, I mean, you know, you go, yeah, but I mean, you go stretching up. You know, and just depends on how the, the run the road, say a county road runs through a farmland back on Button Ridge, just depends on how those how it lays. You know how that can work out, right? So. I think the intent is not to have a driveway. I think when we talked about this before, we were picturing county road with a driveway every 30 feet. And then maybe the five acre track goes winds around back here, or maybe it winds around, you know. So you can't put them. You can't get them. Well, they you would you can't get them you can't get them that close unless you get down into like two acre one or two acre three acre tracks, and that's going to go into a subdivision regulation anyway, right? Well, you can't you can't parcel off less than them five acres on a in an A1 without having its own change. I can't see the picture. I'm sorry. I don't get it. I don't know what you're asking. Okay. Can you show me? I think there's But your land is like a, a triangle coming in, your entrance comes into the front of this triangle, then you can't cut a road entrance in ever hundred or two hundred and fifty foot because what your road frontage is is, is not that much. If I'm reading right Jonathan. Yeah so here was the example from Button Ridge, mm -hmm. Shelly Ginn's house here, and then uh, there was a tobacco barn here. It was Ben Hardesty's, mm -hmm. and uh, so I know how it is. It is that, yeah. but let's say it's this. So this goes into effect. What are you saying can't happen? So this the case. Um, the way this was, you know, the way this laid out, per this tobacco barn being here in the land. This was the only, there was only say 30 foot here to get access, access in here to this, you know, 40 acres. So that's what I'm saying. By this being in here, you know, that, that needs to be 250 feet, right? And it's already there now, right? It's, it's already, it's existing. Yes. Yeah, so but I'm just saying in the future, say if something like this, you know what I mean? I mean, I'm you seeing it totally different because now. I was thinking 250 feet back. So in other words, in order to do no, this, no. To, you know, say, say I had this farm and one of my kids wanted to build a house, a pretty, pretty place at the end of this ridge back here, put them a little log cabin, right? But then this is cropland, right? So in order to do, you know, you'd have to go, what, it, 250 feet's a pretty good stretch to get on down the road to contain that in there. You see what I'm saying? That's just the perfect situation there. But you're going to get, that. that's going to, that, that'll come up. I mean, so I, I'm wondering if it's what it's going to hurt. Could the Board of Adjustments issue a variance? Mm -hmm. and, the, and the road, <clears throat> you might not be talking about if you're going back on private land, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you're going fairly far back. You have one house that's coming off the 30, the 
30 foot curve, right? Yeah, yeah. And then you want to go farther back, you're probably talking about a private road anyway to reach that. It's an extension of your it own driveway, be. right? It, it so, would be. So I don't know that it would it, fall it, under, the, gonna, that's gonna under the guideline. That's going to happen more than once. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. The situation. Yeah, well. but the Board of Adjustments could issue a variance on that. Okay. If it's 40, 40 acres, uh, and then if you read C, it doesn't say on a public, it says on a road, public road. If you, uh, the way I interpret that, you can just go right on, road, put public your road, road in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, uh, that's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. You got no problem. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's what I'm saying. You just put your road in. But does it have to be 250? I see what you're saying. Because, because see, is, this, is this really but necessary? But when that is deeded off separately. Now you're talking about splitting it up. Just, just, just say one track. Or say, okay, subdivision regulations are three or more, right? So say you did one track on this farm like this. Is it going to have to be 250 feet to come out there? You know, on that, on that, that boundary that's along the road frontage. See what I mean? Yeah. According to this, it's going to have to be unless it gets amended. No, because it's, no. it's a private road. It's a road. It's, it's not a road, a not road. a public road. It's a private road. That's, the and that's what the word road means road. in there. It means uh, well, road that's not public. In other words, not kept up by the public. Frontage which may be on road, no. public road, street, or public street, or public street. So public means that somebody's that taking care of it. It's a no. county road. County road or city road or whatever, but what you're talking about is a road going back there, and that would be up to you. Yeah, you know, oh no, yeah, well no, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about you know coming off of Button Ridge Road, which would be that was that same city. That's a county road, or would could be considered as a public road, public county. That's all the same. So. That, that's what I'm saying. It would have to have 250 foot of road frontage in order to be even. You see what I mean? That's what I'm getting from that. I'm just. Mm -hmm. You're going to be able. What this in, is intended to prevent is a developer skirting the subdivision regulations, buying attractive land, mm -hmm. using the county road as their own personal private road to service. Those, lot those after lots. lot after lot of 30 feet and maybe they are five acres but maybe they go crazy gotcha mm -hmm. and you're having a driveway every few feet that the county is financing and taking care of whereas okay it should be whatever chelsea farm road and to be maintained privately by the people who live here or however who are paying in and one road off the county road so you can keep this at 50 mile, 55 miles per hour you're not having a driveway every 50 feet you have an in one entrance to the subdivision and houses yeah, going out from yeah, there got you there so that's what its intended <clears throat> purpose is to prevent, prevent that okay if you have one farm and I don't see a reason. I mean, what I'm about. hopefully you would be able to get a variance <laughs> with what you're talking about. So long as it's a safe place to put the driveway into the in the curve, the board of you would be at the board of adjustments mercy okay, in yeah. granting this variance. And maybe they say put one of those mirror things. At the, you know, if it's a sharp curve, maybe put yeah. a mirror thing so you can see both, both yeah, sides it, coming. This, this curve is an open curve, so it's, okay. it's ideal. Yeah. Okay. But for safety purposes, that's what the, that's what that section is intended to do, to relieve the burden on those county roads. Okay. So that they're not paying a developer where the developer should be paying. Gotcha. Okay. So what you're all saying, as long as he can buy a variance, he'll be good. Yeah, you've used that term a lot. Yeah. That's what this whole thing's about, money. I mean, <laughs> let's can see how much of application for a variance costs here. $75. Okay. So your son wants to build a house. But you may or may not get approved. Right. 
I mean, yes. they'll work. They're all. You're also before human beings. Yeah. True. Okay. I mean, that's the that's the side of it. Okay. So I don't know. I mean, we can discuss a change. If yeah, I don't know. I mean, yeah. I think. With 30 I know what you're saying with frontage. the subdivision. I mean, well, subdivision rigs, that, that's going to bounce in there to that. So we'll have to kind of go off of what they... Or if I'm, if I'm on a farm and I'm getting, you know, maybe every three or four years, I'm thinking toward retirement, every three or four years I'm going to sell off a tract here, yeah. track there, track here, and then 30 feet of road frontage. And then all of a sudden, at the end of my life, you've got I've got 15 entrances on that public road whereas if you can encourage people through your laws to be thoughtful about the planning you can ultimately relieve the burden from the county okay. so I there are ways to skirt those subdivision regulations you know do one one cut at a time if you stretch it out um, and just the subdivision regulations, I guess, would be in effect. Okay. So this 100 feet and 250, that kind of came from, I suppose, I assume it came from those subdivision regs a little bit, or? I don't think so. No, we followed Henry County. Okay, or Henry County, that's mm -hmm. where it came from. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they have. That's, uh, there's a... There's a chart there you've got in your book that's okay. got that's got all those distances okay. and stuff on it. And the uh, the setbacks too. Gotcha. Because it can't be. If it's 250 feet, it's got to go all the way back to the house line. It can't go in and then have your little house way back there. That road frontage has to go all the way back to the front of the house. Oh, it has to maintain that distance? Just back to the house, and then it can go wherever. Yes. After that. Ooh, okay. Mm. All right, that, that's the trick. Okay. Yeah, that's what it says, minimum lot area. And at the building line. Yeah. So that's what she was saying, mm -hmm. to that building line. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Any other questions on articles one through five? Yes, sir. Someone who was just going for a few minutes ago about this. Um, how cheap this fee was? It's seventy-five dollar fee to access or get your permit to put into a home like that. According to the schedule that's with this, there's several more involved there. If somebody challenges that to come back to the board, there's going to be a lot more fees involved in that seventy-five dollar. Well, if you're building a house, but you need a to leave you, it's 300 bucks. Test amendment, it's 750 bucks. You want some kind of change in there. Uh, land Good. unit development review is another 500 bucks. So if you're going to put in a driveway someplace, so you can get several fees tacked right on top of that. There'd be no text amendment. Key. There'd be no text amendment on that. You'd have your permit and then your your variance would be all you would have. No reviews if somebody challenged that going in there? Well, in, in this particular instance that's on his farm, uh, he's certainly not going to challenge, uh, challenge it. Would a neighbor? Could a neighbor? I I guess they could. You got to think worst case scenario. Everybody gets along great with their neighbors, so. Would there be a zoning map that. change? <laughs> Absolutely. Um, no. So it's if the thing. if the piece was higher than. Five yeah, yeah. If, if, it, if it's high, if it's more than five okay. acres, it wouldn't be a zone change. But now, yes, if it was, if it was two acres, less than five acres, yeah, you'd have to have a zoning change on that too. Okay. Just give them whole forty acres. Yeah. <laughs> Just give them the whole farm, right? They're, they may expect it. <laughs> Mine won't. 
So yeah, in, in that respect, if it's less than five acres, there would be more more fees involved with that. Okay. All right. Any other questions? Okay, gang. How much? Right. Uh, how much do you want to bite off for next next month? Now we haven't we haven't got section eleven done yet, which is on the signs. So I'd probably say not go any further than ten. These are on phones, so right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Some some of that. So this process back and forth. Okay, four, five, and six. What's the time frame? Four, I mean, uh, five and yeah, six. Five, yeah, five, yeah, five and six. We got a month. Mm -hmm. That will be. Up. What's, what's the time frame? Um, I say cut it May. off before seven. We need to be finished reading before the right. Because yeah, we we kind of need to be done That's in May. Thirty pages. Because the next reading is June. You missed last month, so you have to catch up. Yeah. <laughs> but y'all didn't do one through four last meeting, correct? Till right. today. Yeah, today. we did we did that today. So yeah. Yes, we did. Exactly. <laughs> so now we gotta do five through sixteen. Okay. I think what right. I do is yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I mean I don't care. No, I mean between now and, and May, right? So we've got two mm -hmm. more meetings, so that's a lot of ground to cover. We, like we could do five in, through ten, and if if we don't get done, we can call another meeting or uh, five through ten. Yeah. Okay. So then it would Let's be eleven that. through six. eleven through sixteen or fifteen. Uh, there. Okay. The, yeah, yeah. Six, they're sixteen. So oh. sixteen. Yeah. This is the this is the biggest chunk. Yeah. Yeah. The most in, in I, tail. I don't know how many questions we'll have on, on the. Well, we don't need off street parking. Six. We can do nine. Off street parking won't, won't take a minute. Okay. Let's just go through nine. Go through nine? Save y'all. Which one? Okay. Say wouldn't take I save this off page. Okay. 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 So we're going to do. And I'll have sample permits if you want to put that okay. in a minute. So I'll have sample permits in April. Okay. Mm -hmm. R plus five through nine. Did everybody okay. get that? We'll we'll cover articles five through nine uh, and at the April twenty third meeting. Okay. Um, anything else to discuss? Yes. Um, Kenny. Yeah. I was going to ask before, have you all tried to reach out to some of the larger farmers in the community to find out what their input is on this? I know the ones I've talked to have had a negative view of it, and I was hoping that maybe... I'll be glad to go to the Cattlemen's Association. I'd probably hit, I'd probably hit most of them there. Maybe even a Farm Bureau meeting or something like that, and, and find out what it is they don't like about it. I yeah. Mean, most of them probably haven't read it. So. And I, I'm a member of uh, the Farm Bureau also, and I and I, I have brought them up to date on things. But uh, I can talk to Kevin, and I don't I don't mind at all going to the uh, Cattlemen's Association and and uh, is. Do you, you want to open it up in front of Jerry at Farm Bureau? I, I have before. I already know Jerry's against it, so it, 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 I mean that, that's that's oh, fine. Yeah, that, that's fine. Well, you know, like a cattleman's meeting, uh, the trouble with those are, I think it's tonight, isn't it? Oh, was it? I, well, I, I think it's like every we, time we, we have one of these, is. the next meeting we'll have here. I well, think I could leave I you all here, and I could go out there and talk to uh, the cattlemen. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, maybe you have your planning and zoning meeting down there before yeah. they have theirs. Oh Lord. <laughs> but I'll, I'll I'll check with I'll check with Kevin next time and. Uh, I, I know everything's geared for their protection, but, but it seems like they're the largest group. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I've worked with farmers for 37 years, and, and of course I know I know Jerry's against it, but I've not had one farmer come up to me and complain about it. Really? Not one. I, 
I had think several calls. Okay. It's mostly your larger farm. And I, I figured I would. Yeah. I, I, it really kind of surprised me. So, and but yeah, I, I don't. the same thing. Have you read it? And, and most of them. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just don't want anybody to tell me what I can do with my land. Yeah. Well, if they look at the comprehensive plan, and uh, farming is not prohibited in any way, shape, nor form under planning and zoning. The only thing that a farmer has to worry about on planning and zoning, and I think uh, there's some there's some uh, distances that they have to be from the property line to build in a barn or something like that. Yeah, they might and they don't. They they do have to get a permit. If it's over 10 acres. There's no fee. Yeah, I think maybe the main thing is going to be the sell-off thing. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. Because I mean they're you know exempt from pretty much everything else mm -hmm. from what I saw so far. Where can they get a copy? I've had that asked three times where they could get it. I can't make this many copies. I mean, this many yeah, copies. Yeah, so I understand. We mentioned at the very Website. first meeting that uh, they could go to the library. And it's it's all on there. Okay. Not good. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's not updated, but it's... But if they yeah. wanted a copy, I mean, because some of these people don't... I mean, the ones that called me are like... Uh, yeah, they, I've, I've read some. Yeah, it, it, it'll cost them at least I'm a piece 10 or 25 cents, maybe. Okay. Uh, or we used to be. Yeah, I think it's more than that now. It might be. And I just didn't know if that was something I'd missed if you just had copies. Or or take them yeah, you know, I take don't. Them 20 with them. I, I, I don't. Okay. You can actually download it to PDF. Right, right. Yeah. Somebody asked me, somebody asked uh, about defining non-conforming lots. Non -conforming. Yeah, that's, that's, it's in the, uh, you brought that up or not. It's kind of a double negative in that. Um, Is that too thick? Mm -hmm. I, 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 You're looking okay, under the... Okay, it's on uh, 510 non-conforming lots of record. In the yet. Well, but there's a, it is a non-conforming, and it, there's a there's double negatives in there. What okay. <laughs> page is that, Bob? Uh, page well, 13. I got the old version, those 21, I think. Uh, I don't know what page it is. Does it define what a non-conforming lot is? Okay. Yeah, That's but it I says, it's, anyway, it's talking along single dwelling manufacturing. May be placed upon any lot of record uh, at the effective date of adoption of this ordinance, notwithstanding the non-conformity of such a lot. That's too negative. So you take them out, it says the adoption of this ordinance withstanding the conformity of such lot. Because they cancel each other out. So that's what it would read. Why do you have why do we have double negative? We can talk about that next time. Okay. That's where I saw it and that's what stuck in my mind with it. You don't play with it. You know. There's a play in the uh, Should should we think about going ahead and scheduling a meeting? A lot of times we don't get where we want to be and we get behind and run up against the deadline and it creates problems. So if we think we're part of the possibility of needing another meeting, let's go ahead and do it. Let's get ahead of it. No. So in, you, are, are you saying in case we don't get through everything uh, on yeah, the... Yeah, uh, you know, we keep on the... Set the next or, or do we want to break it up over three meetings between now and May? What's just left? Go ahead and do one in case something comes up. We've always had issues with that. Mm -hmm. Well, you, that's a lot to cover. What's coming? You've got five Tuesdays in uh, in April. If you want to, oh, okay. The ninth is Bedford. Uh, so we we could do uh, another Let me meeting. Check that date. We could do another meeting on the thirtieth if we don't sure get done. Right. Okay, well, so we got we got a. We got Is that okay with everybody? Yeah. What? If if we don't get done with sections five through nine on April twenty third, we'll have another meeting on the thirtieth mm -hmm. to uh, finish okay. it up. Okay. Did everybody hear that? April thirtieth. So April thirtieth is another tentative date. Well, I better put that in there, or I'll, I definitely will not be here. Or do we want to just set it in stone and divide 
from five to sixteen over three days. Let, let's let's just see how it goes. Okay. Five through nine on the next one. Mm -hmm. Reach for the moon, but uh, learn to accept less. There's a lot of and then material. we and then we we can decide if we want to. Yeah, let's just make that decision at the April twenty-third meeting if we get done and you know, we've got that date if we want to do more but we can just decide then. Okay. What's our goal for a completed draft? Um, well, we're, we would still be making changes at the May meeting uh, potentially. Uh, you know, we could look at it then as if we want to have a, a meeting earlier in June. Okay. So. And because uh, I'll, what I'll try to do is, uh, if you can get me a copy, I'll go ahead and highlight the changes uh, that I have written down here. I have a couple more. Oh, okay. Okay, you copy that. Uh, okay. Uh, not okay. Any, anything else, ladies and gentlemen? Okay, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Jim made a motion. Do I hear a second? We're going to approve these changes anyway. I think we're waiting until we get them. We're, we're waiting until we get them. Get them all done. Keep them ready. Okay. I hear a second to that motion. Oh, okay. This meeting stands adjourned.